Welcome, traveler. Today, we'll be forging the plus five enhanced blacksmith Andrea of Astora for our Dark Souls characters into MTG Legends series. This is it. If you're interested, come take a peek into the cauldron. We don't have much information about Andre. We know that he's a blacksmith and that he's from Astor, the same birthplace of characters like Solaire and Andre. We find him deep into his work, never taking a break. For veteran players, his rhythmic hammering has become soothing and synonymous of a brief moment of peace from the dangers of the Lordran. As a master blacksmith, his work is his pride. Andre does not look for innovation, but strives to get as close as possible to perfection. He isn't in it for just the money, genuinely cares about you and his work. We can safely place him in white. To determine his color identity, we can take in exam another interesting fact about him. When provoked, he fights unarmed and unarmored. He is surrounded by weaponry, but still chooses to use his fists and drop kicks to protect himself, relying on his own impressive physical build to battle. I placed him in Celesnia for these reasons. For Celesnia Mana, Blacksmith Andre is a 2-3 legendary creature human artificer, and he can't be target of equip abilities. Of course, this is to represent the fact that he never wields weapons or armors himself. Whenever you cast an equipment, you get an experience counter, and the equip abilities cost one less to activate for each experience counter you have, as well as get plus one plus one for each experience counter you have. With the experience mechanic, you can mimic Andre striving to always become a better blacksmith, making his equipments easier to wield as his first reward, and making who wields them stronger with the second one. With this design, I created an equipment commander that isn't in Boros or more white, but most importantly, that really rewards you for putting many equipment on many different creatures. I always loved equipment synergy pieces, but at the same time, I find Voltron gameplay extremely boring and repetitive. Blacksmith Andre is the answer I was seeking to build a fun equipment deck. As always, we will take a quick look at some of the coolest cards you can put into a Blacksmith Andre commander deck. Butter School and the Hex God Overwings are among the best equipment we can play. Not because they are particularly strong on their own, but because Living Weapon and Four Mirrorling work great for us, giving us both an equipment and creature at the same time. Butter School has the added bonus of being able to return to hand for extra experience farming, and the Hope Rings to be an additional anthem for our equipped creatures. Argentum Armor and Moon Silver Spear are among my personal favorite equipment cards. They are usually near unplayable in most decks due to their harsh equip cost, but with Andre discounting it, we can more easily get access to their strong effects. While there aren't many, Andre isn't the only board wipe anthem we can give to equipped creatures. Halvar, Gore of Battle, and Stonehaven Outfitter are strong creatures we can use to make our armed army hit harder and draw back some of the cards when they fall. The most observant of you may have noticed that while it's hard to put equipment on Andre, it's not impossible. I could have given him protection from equipment, which would have made it entirely impossible to equip him, but with his wording, cards like Arden, Intrepid Archaeologist and Segarta's Aid can force the blacksmith to wield his creations for himself. I thought it was a funny option to get access to from time to time. To close out the game, Kemba, Car Regent and Dragon Throne of Tarkir are probably our best options. With our equip cost reduced, we can put all the artifacts on Kemba before the end of our turn, and spread them out again at the next rotation of the table, and then do it again, overwhelming our opponents with an army of sword-wielding cats. The Dragon Throne is an equipment that works well 
when we are going wide. If the equipment costs broke low by 100, we can use the same principle we used with Kemba. Put everything on one guy, activate the throne, and spread the equipment out once again. We can even activate the dragon throne multiple times in a turn if we have the mana, since he requires the equipment creature to tap, not himself, and thus making even the smallest creatures into lethal threats. With his last masterwork completed, we can leave Andre to venture in the world once again. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please consider liking and subscribing. Leave a comment to let me know which character would you want to see next. This was Eve. Thanks for watching. I'll be seeing you then. Be careful out there.